Hello everyone, welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for the word, Father God. We thank you for loving us and taking care of us, Father God. Most of all, Father God, we thank you for saving our soul. We thank you for always being there for us and hearing us when we cry out to you, Father God. Father God, we ask you right now, Father God, to help us to be more like you every day. Help us be kind and compassionate. Help us be loving, Father God. Father God, we just love you and we thank you for everything in Jesus' mighty name. And Father God, also, we, we forgot to ask you to please uh, bless the ones that are hearing it and bless the ones that are reading it in Jesus' name. Amen. So today is Sunday. We normally have a new memory verse, which is uh, James 4 and 3. You ask and did not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. James 4 and 3. Verse of the day is Luke 5 and 16. But Jesus often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. Subject, praying in the thick of it. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you the opportunity to say it if you like. I'm always praying. I am dedicated. I am strong. I'm waiting on God. Read Thomas' devotion of 7 minutes and 26 seconds. It says here that Jesus oftentimes withdrew to pray. How many of you draw a way to get, get time in with God? How many of you make sure you do this and have peaceful time with Jesus? A lot of times we get time to pray, but it's not entirely quiet. It's loud, and Jesus knew if he went out to the wilderness that there would be no one out there, and he would get his quiet time. Quiet time is what we need to connect with God. We have to understand that the problem with today's society, no one wants to be alone. No one wants to adapt to the solitude that goes into prayer. But that's how we learn more and more is being quiet and waiting for God to speak. And a lot of times we can't hear him because of the noise. God wants us to feel comfortable enough to sit and wait for him. He wants us to seek out those quiet moments with him. I used to hate being by myself because I didn't want to be alone. I refused it. I didn't want to hear myself think because I knew my thoughts would be something I didn't want to hear. I knew that the pain I was dealing with would come forth. And a lot of times when we deal with trauma, we don't want to be alone because alone feels more like we did something wrong but God wants you to know you have done nothing wrong that you are feeling the loneliness that your soul wants it's longing to be close to him Luke 6 and 12 says this in these days he went out in the mountains to pray and all night he continued to pray to God Mark 11 Mark 1 and 35 through 36 and rising up early early in the morning while it was still dark he departed and went out into a isolated place and prayed there and Simon and those who were with him searched for him the the thing about prayer is we must believe that what he has for us, it will happen. And prayer often doesn't work because we don't believe in our feelings. We don't believe in what he has planned for us in the book of in the book of Mark eleven twenty four it says this. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. It tells us that whatever we pray, we must believe, and when we do this, we will receive it. It doesn't tell us when, but it tells us we will. That's when we must be patient. Many don't have that I can remember a lot of times when I prayed I couldn't believe he he couldn't believe it because I thought it's no way he would do this for me it's no way he cares for me but he does care for us he does want to give us our desires but we must believe it and that's what we lack is, is belief in the giver in ourselves first Thessalonians 5 17 says this pray without ceasing another thing we must do is pray without ceasing many of us just pray once and that's it but God wants us to always pray about the matter. He, we don't want to go one day without giving it all to him. Because when we pray a little here and a little there, we miss out on what God has for us. What does God have for you? A lot of times prayer consists of us submitting to him. We are submitting our flesh. Prayer is hard because we don't want to give ourselves to something we feel is waste, wasting our time. Prayer isn't wasting our time at all, folks. Prayer gives us access to God to give him our problems. Do you remember Daniel when he prayed? He was so dedicated to praying that he went on a fast. He had no lotion. He did this for three weeks. Three weeks. He was dedicated to hearing the voice of God. And that's what we must do. Are we dedicated to hearing the voice of God? Or are we seeking him to hear even the wor in the worst of times? Daniel 10 and 23. 10 through 23. Sorry, Daniel 10, 2 through 3. When this vision came to me, I, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three weeks all the time. I had not eaten, no rich food, no meat, no wine across my lips. I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. 
He did this for three weeks. He didn't hear God's voice. He was consistent. Even he didn't hear him. He knew that he would eventually. Some of us don't hear from him and we immediately stopped and we didn't and he didn't cease. Verse 12. And then he said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you begin to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before God, your request has been made in heaven. I have come to answer into your prayers. Look at what he says. He said, because you have humbled yourself, God who is in heaven heard you. And I have an answer for you. God wants us to pray even if we don't. he don't answer because it shows we desperately need his voice. How many of you do this? How many of you are dedicated to getting what you need from God? We must seek him with our whole heart. Today, we learned that we must be dedicated to the solitude of prayer and stay with it regardless of being consistent. We also learned that being quiet during prayer helps us to hear the voice of God. And sometimes that's hard to do, but to hear his voice, we must be willing to get away from the loud noises and get alone as Jesus did. And Jesus did this often. Jeremiah 29, 12. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. We must believe that when we call upon the Lord's name, he hears us like the like he like we like he heard Daniel. Daniel didn't give up. He stayed dedicated through the, the through the no response. Some of us would lose our motivation to pray if God waited that long. But Daniel knew it, it, it that he called on God and he would come. He didn't know when but he knew he would. Do you believe God hears your prayers? Do you believe that God would do the rest when we do our part? Sometimes it's hard to believe he will, but he will. God loves us and he sees us right where we are and wants to help take us higher in him, but we must be dedicated to him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for for hearing us when we speak, for never leaving us or forsaking us. Lord, we ask you right now to hear our humble cry. Lord, we want to give you everything and trust you, but sometimes that's hard to do. We give you our burdens and frustrations of our day. Guide us through it all. Show us more of you. Holy Spirit, please take us deeper and pour a fresh anointing onto us in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reference, Romans 12 and 12, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation and constant in prayer. Ephesians 6, 18, praying always in the spirit and all prayer and supplication to the end keep alert with all perseverance and making supplication for all the saints ephesians 6 18 first john 5 14 and this is a confidence that we have towards him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us first john 5 and 14 further reading proverbs 3 romans 8 revelation 15 second corinthians and 9 this ends praying in the thick of it. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any pro um, platform. Remember, share with family member or friend. If you have time, please share this devotional um, or podcast on your social media. Remember to go to YouTube and like and subscribe. I have 15,000 followers. We'd love for you to be one. Also, remember at the bottom will be your memory verse, your verse of the day, your further reading, your reference. And it will be links for you to read this devotional if you care to. Thank you. Be blessed.